Today is day seven, and I want to talk to you a little bit about how important that number has been symbolically in this process. And part of that uh, had to do with just the fact that my surgery was on this seventh. The floor that I went to to have the operation was on the seventh. I'm born on the seventh. And today is day seven. So how exciting is that? Uh, I just, I find that way, way cool. I'm, as far as how do I feel today, I, I feel pretty good. Uh, the thing that is probably the hardest to get used to is not being able to really see out of this eye. Everything is just like really blurry. What I do see is liquid moving about, <laughs> which is really, really freaky. I don't know how else to explain it. So if you're walking around and your eye is open, it uh, it's not that I feel seasick, it just really messes with your motion. And as far as like uh, any kind of reading or any kind of activity where I'm using my sight, I would say in about an hour, I'm kind of exhausted. Um, perhaps within a half a day, I have a moderate headache. It's just like an aching. And I, and I feel tired. I've been trying to get up and move around, but because of this type of um, procedure, it messes with your balance. So I'm often trying to be careful about how I'm moving. It, it even messes with, with um, um, spatial, spatially knowing where things are, like pouring coffee into your cup. Um, it, it's definitely different outlook on life with one part of your vision being um, hampered and um, impaired. It makes me think about symbolically what that means about my life that I would be in this position where I would have this procedure and that it would take away the vision that I had relied on to a certain degree and, and how I'm seeing the world that I am right now, being made to slow down, being made to essentially, or to have the opportunity to set the reset in my life on what what I want, what I want to do um, moving forward. Mostly, I'm just here, I'm in the now, right now. And for, sounds really uh, cosmic, I'm in the now, but literally I am present in this moment. Um, without many distractions. And I have been to a certain degree because of COVID-19, because you know we should talk about, um, or I should discuss with you, the impact of COVID-19 on this whole process. And I will get into that, but I will say right now, I thought just with COVID-19 pandemic when we were at stay at home, that was deep, but I could get out and go get in my car, drive to the supermarket and get stuff or take a drive and go near the, the ocean or the Schuylkill River or go to the park. And those things uh, right now, I can't. I can ask my friends to take me to these places. Uh, I'm, I'm grateful that they're there to do that. But for me, it's not really a necessity so, so I sit. Uh, I've been 
listening to some audio books. Uh, my cousin suggested that for me and I knew already that I had a stack that I needed to go through. Uh, yesterday, all day, I was listening to The Anatomy of the Spirit by Caroline Miss, which had me thinking about, it was reminding me about the symbolism in the things that happens in our lives and, and that which is happening in my life right now and how it, what is life really about? What, what is, why are we here? What am I supposed to be doing? What is the message I'm supposed to be getting right now? And um, just being open for that. Mainly, I just keep getting, you know, uh, connect with spirit, connect with God, connect with the universe, whoever, whatever you call God, it doesn't matter, just connect, connect with that light, connect with that love, um, learn to love more, learn to receive more love, <laughs> I'm working on that, um, it is, you don't have to hit me over the head too many times for me to get that aspect and I'm getting it right now. And I wonder, I wonder what, what you might be receiving, what changes that might be happening in your life. Um, if you're experiencing, um, or about to experience a surgery like this one, which is the vitrectomy and and how that might impact your life and whether you're worried about it. And I'm, I'm really glad to be able to have the ability to share this experience with you. And I hope that if you have any questions about the process or things you would like for me to talk about, um, I, I'm more than welcome to talk about it. I hope I touch these points as the days go on. So, I'm going to finish this video and um, and bring it to the masses. You know, I I, I just want um, to share my experience and to encourage people to listen to their bodies when they feel as though something's not right, and and that's basically what happened for me. I knew there was something wasn't right. And it was beyond the fact that I needed to change my readers because I was getting older. And um, because of that, catching it early, catching what we call a macular hole um, early and fixing it is all the difference in the healing process. So my message is listen to your body, listen to yourself and and be your own advocate. So, stay light and be bold about everything that you're doing with your life. May love surround you. May you feel the love you ever dreamed of and may you have prosperity in your life even during these times, even during COVID-19, that there are great things happening. And I'm talking to you, so that's a great thing. So take care, and I'll see you tomorrow.